on October 25, there's going to be an eclipse. So I will be making my very own money pot. Now, I'm making one for myself. Do you want me to make one for you? If you want one, you can pre-order and I will make one for you. It's available for pre-order only. I would have to check how many people want me to make one for them. And then I will ship it to you guys after. Now, this is just a sample. Um, depending on how many people, of course, would get one. Because I'm going to get a, a, you know vessels for everyone. I'll do the shopping. I'll do the ritual. It says it all. It's called the money pot for a reason. So if you're manifesting the coins, securing the bag then definitely this one is for you and it's for me. So get yours. It's going to be in the description box below, all right? Okay, Capricorn, let's see what's going on. This is going to be a, a not-so-new, not-so-old reading. I used to do this, quarterly reads. So this is going to be for the last three months of the year, which is all the way to December. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be looking at your side of the connection here. And then, an extended, we shall see what's their side about and the future of the relationship, if there is. Okay. So, we're going to address you first. Everything is in the description box. The extended reading, the consultation and appointment, it's going to be there also. So, let's see here. Okay, so in the next three months, everything is going to stop. Everything will have its delay. Everything will come into a pause. Okay, now I'm addressing you first. Now, this is the card of finishing something, which means just right now, you are accomplish accomplishing something and it would require you to stop. A lot of people think that, you know, stopping is a waste of time. Like, oh, I can't stop. I can't do this. You know, all those jazz. But this is what is required right now. The Knight of Pentacles is a steady card, which means like if you don't stop, if you don't pause right now, it will become even more of a problem or a situation later on. Mm. Having the Knight of Pentacles is a blessing, especially that the eclipse is coming on the 25th and also on the 8th of November, which only means that this is when we scale back. So this is a smart move if this is what you're doing. In a relationship, this is the part where you try to understand them first and then think things through. This is part of the Page of Pentacles, it becomes a knight, which now becomes, you have a promise here, um, meaning a promise that you, you didn't make this promise to your person, meaning you're a, a promising person that you can have a relationship, meaning you can and you are ready for something serious. Mm -hmm. Yes, you see, it's very positive. Having the sun card over here, it shows that your happiness for the next three months is coming into play. This is going on vacation. This is understanding that there is someone that loves you and cares for you. This is the part where you realize you're also your own value. Having the sun card over here, which only means that you can be in the same page with your person. Again, this is just you. Okay, not yet them. The sun card is this bright, wonderful energy, of course. The sun card is healing. The sun card is a destination. Um, uh, from what I'm seeing here, it's like this is you following your intuition and your soul journey. Now, the sun always rises. So this is you committing to the next three months that you will not give up. If it's about relationship, you will pursue. If it's about um, you know, your career, you will pursue. Not giving up basically is your mantra here. Um, the sign, of course, is a card of Leo. It is success. It is fame. It is recognition, which means that in the work that you do, you may be recognized here. An achievement, an award, being on the spotlight would be the sun card. Now, the sun, considering that this is Leo card, you may be a person who works in film, TV, theater, Broadway, or anything that is related to the public eye. Now, the sun card is also a card of someone who works in the government office, okay? A high position, though, okay? So, relationship for you is more of, yes, you're looking, but you want to know, because the hermit is looking, 
So it's, it's searching for an answer. You want to know whether whoever you're communicating with, that's a page of pentacles, you're talking to someone, dating someone, you want to know if this is the person that you're supposed to be with. Okay? Now, the page of pentacles here and the hermit, um, you're going to take some time out in the next three months to figure this out. Whoever your soulmate is, you will go into this whole deep meditative um, well, process before you even make a decision. So introspection is what I'm seeing here. Calculation also. I don't know what you're calculating. It's a hermit. It's a Virgo. This is uh, this is looking basically the connection in the detail. Like you want, you know, like this is about details. Now what I'm seeing here also is that your um, what I'm seeing here with the hermit is the part where. You're, you're wanting to know here. Like you will have a deep conversation with your person. Um, something about each other's belief for the long term of the relationship. And it's a serious conversation. It can be about kids, baby, you know, like baby's religion, spirituality. That will become a subject here. Mm-hmm. It can be about their views in marriage or, you know, like something very serious will come to surface. Now, you do expect your person also to say, um, apology. That's a page of pentacles. But I feel like that's more of you, um, your expectation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Can I focus? I'm going to focus this card, guys. Okay. Wow. And I told you, it's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. In the next three months, this will be the subject matter. Subject matter. <laughs> the lovers here is connected. Look at that, that dove right there. Very, very closely together. This is about a union. Okay. It's about a sacred union that you feel, of course, because the sun is here. I told you this is a card of soulmate. The sun card is soulmate also. So you feel like if it's a song by the great Mariah, we belong together. It's a strong attraction. Chemistry is there. And in the next three months, you feel more connected as the days goes by. So that's very, very, um, uh, how to say this? Very, very good to experience, right? So the lovers here, is a card of a Gemini. You got Leo. You got Virgo. You got Taurus over here also. This is also forgiving. I'm seeing here that you will allow this person to come through and forgive them. And then there is this again, um, you know, conversation. Mm. Ooh, daddy. Okay. Now, of course, this is you. Remember, this is you, not them. What I'm seeing here, okay, is that there will be something concrete manifesting here. There will be something serious. Because the emperor does not waste time. And you're in charge of this. You're a self-made person. Okay? Having the emperor on your side, you're the doer. You're the action taker. You're the protector of the relationship. You're the one that manifests everything for the relationship. You could be the provider. You could be the breadwinner. You could be the person who will, um, you know, give the direction to this relationship as you've seen the future with the hermit card. And basically, you're just waiting for your person to hear from them on what do they think, okay, and what do they feel um, as far as the relationship is concerned between the two of you. Now, the lovers is sincere card. Here, it's not about intimacy. Here, it's about two souls really feeling each other um, romantically, um, you know, like soulfully and everything that is basically good. And you feel this with your person. It does, it did take you a while before you guys get here. Okay. Now, the emperor, of course, is a card of Aries. The, the emperor over here is in charge. So, you know, you have the steering wheel in this relationship. You're the person who's going to put this either 
okay, we do this together, we do that together, and basically either your person will agree or disagree. It's not about confrontation. It's more of just really, um, you know, shedding light already in the in this relationship, which is wonderful. Okay, now that's your side. Now it's gonna be time to see what your person's side. Okay, what's uh, you know what's their take in this relationship, right? And also, what is the future of this connection? Follow me in extended reading. Link down there in the description box below. Let's find out more. Bye.